Hi guys, good morning. Today I will be showing you how to make beef tripe soup. And this is a Polish style beef tripe soup. So let's get started. So we have around a pound of beef tripe. We're going to rinse it up before we start cutting it up. Okay, now we can start cutting up beef tripe. We're going to try to cut it in little strips like thin strips just like this okay so we're going to transfer our cut up beef tripe into a pot and then we're going to add some water and we're going to boil it for at least maybe half an hour or an hour or so to get it nice and tender that's good enough so another thing while we're boiling this just to get rid of uh, some odor that was left from the beef tripe so we don't have the aftertaste or the smell too much so we're gonna boil it and then rinse it out after. So yeah, we'll go ahead and boil this. For our ingredients, we have one large carrots, two celery stalks, two bay leaf, three garlic cloves, some green onions, which is the part of the greens is all gone. I use it for my soup or leek. If you have, if you have leeks, then that's even better. And one white onion. For seasoning, we're going to need some paprika, parsley flakes, and beef powder. We also going to need a half a pound of beef. I have uh, this is beef strips. Usually we use it for stir fries. Um, you can use some beef bone or any kind of beef meat to just add extra flavor to your soup. So yeah, I'm gonna use this. This is half a pound. So I already boiled the beef tripe, uh, now I can drain it up and then we can cook the rest of the ingredients with it. In a large pot, we're going to add around 2 tablespoons of olive oil. We're going to cook our beef. We're going to try to brown it a little bit. Some salt and a little bit of ground black pepper. We can go ahead and add our beef tripe. Okay, just the rest of our ingredients, which includes our carrots and celery, onions and garlic. There we go. Just season it with half a tablespoon of canner beef powder, one teaspoon salt, 
teaspoon of ground black pepper. Mix it all up. Okay. We'll add around six to eight cups of water. So for now, we'll just add around six cups. Add in also one teaspoon of parsley flakes and half a tablespoon of paprika. Just quick stir and we'll let this simmer for another 30 minutes or so or until the veggies are all nice and tender including the meat. So our soup has been boiling for another half an hour, extra half an hour. Now we have this all cooked through, it's all nice and tender but the water is a little bit runny so we're gonna try to thicken up the soup by using uh, flour and butter okay so we'll mix up flour and butter and then we'll add it into our soup to a pan we're going to add one tablespoon of butter and let it melt after that we're going to add at least two tablespoons of flour let it cook until nice and creamy just like this okay. going to get some broth from our soup and add it into our flour and butter mixture right there. Just mix it through We can add our flour and butter slurry into our soup just to add this up to make our soup nice and thick. If you want it a little bit spicy like me, I like it spicy, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And that should do the trick. And there you go guys, our soup is ready and nice and hot. Hello! Thank you for watching my video. My name is Sherlyn. Welcome to Sherlyn and Food Etc. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you not subscribed yet, please don't forget to like and subscribe and press the notification bell down below to get notified for more of my videos. Thank you so much for your support and hope to see you again. And take care, God bless, and see you around. Bye!